Hey everyone, Matt from soundrolling.com and I'm going to take you through the Freak Finder app. So let's just go straight into it. Okay, so once we open the app, then we're going to go uh, and essentially have a list. I'm already using a list at the moment for the Chelsea Flower Show. So this is an example of a kind of fully packed thing. But um, let's go to the test one and just give you a demo of uh, how we'd basically set this up. So you can see at the top here we have the plus. We're going to go on the plus, and essentially this is our first channel. So you might have, um, yeah, so whatever your first channel is, let's just go into it just so you can understand the kind of basics of it. Um, essentially, we get a name, so usually the person, so presenter, for instance. Presenter. Um, and this will be our first uh, frequency block. It says the intermodulation is OK. It tell us, tells us what TV channel it's on. Um, uh, deviation means uh, just basically space around whatever designated frequency we have um, won't be used, I believe, in the compatible list. Um, so let's just go to all channels that we have for electrosonics. Um, I should go back, actually, because right here you can change uh, to any of the major models of brand of wireless um, and also the block as well. So you're covered in the US, the UK, and around the world, pretty much. OK, so once we've set it, this will uh, just help you with your naming. For instance, you can't quite see on my crack screen, but that says 0, 0. So that's kind of a shorthand uh, for the exact frequency. So we can go to all channels, and we can see the corresponding um, things that you would see on your electrosonics in terms of um, the kind of shortcut. So band 2C, for instance, is 610. Um, so, our first one, again, doesn't really matter, 606 for 8, that's fine. Um, and now we're going to add a couple more. And essentially what we need is we need uh, spacing in between these to make sure that they're not um, clashing with each other. I'll give you an example of something that uh, clashes. If we do uh, 602, you can see that there's now telling me that there's one overlapping TX. Um, so the intermod is invalid. And basically, these two are going to fight with each other, essentially, because there's an overlap with this one here. Um, and it's going to cause us all sorts of problems. So this is kind of a really quick crash course run through into the app, um, and mainly what it's used for. And it's just really handy also for being able to keep track of um, who's on what channel. So for instance, if you pick up a mic and you see that it says 620 on it, um, you can just look at your phone and know it's Tim, for instance. So, really useful app as well as for sharing. So you could share and um, export the data. This is really good for if, um, like I did for Chelsea, send things to Ofcom uh, just to book a load of frequencies. Um, and what else do we have? We have more settings and in-depth stuff. Um, and I'll throw up a little blog post hopefully later on today uh, to explain all of that. So um, look out for that. And it should appear here. So that's the Freak Finder app. If you found this video useful, you can always give it a thumbs up and actually more people will be able to find it. Uh, do leave a comment regarding uh, me making another video on stuff. This video was brought to you by someone else asking me a question to do Freak Finder. So here it is. Um, it's an easier way of me being able to just make content that people really want to watch or find useful. So I'm going to go for a beer. But uh, if you like this channel, you know, you can also subscribe. See you next time.